God never takes something from us without the intention of replacing it with something much better. Believe that God will put the right people in your life at the right time and in the right seasons. God's plan is always the best. Sometimes the process can be painful and difficult, but remember that when God is silent, He is working on something for you. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Isaiah 43.19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. With these promises in mind, remember that God never takes something from us without the intention of replacing it with something much better. So, if something didn't go as planned, it's God's way of saying, I have something much better for you. Proverbs 12.23 says, The prudent keep their knowledge to themselves, but a fool's heart blurts out folly. When we walk with God, He gives us visions about our future and what He wants to accomplish in us and through us. He makes us see the future so that we can prepare for it. Not everyone can see what you see or understand the future that God is guiding you into, but some people try to tell everyone what God is showing them, and that can be a big mistake. Yes, it's a big mistake unless God is leading you to talk about it. Understand that Satan doesn't know what you see until you tell him. He is not omnipresent. He doesn't know everything. And when he hears about what you see, he starts plotting a plan to stop you. There are people who, because they couldn't keep certain things to themselves, lost the wonderful idea they received from the Spirit. As soon as they had the idea for something, they started telling people about it, and Satan got wind of it. And guess what he did? He devised means to stop the idea from materializing. Never give him that chance. One thing I have learned to accept is that people come and go. Friends you made in the past may no longer be around. People you expected to stay may have left, and you ask God why. Remember, we serve an orderly God. He does not allow things to happen without a purpose, as He always seeks the best for His creation and allows things to happen for a reason. Here are five reasons why God may remove someone from your life. 1. Fulfilling His divine plan. God's ultimate plan is for us to live eternally with Him in His kingdom. When we give our lives to God, we give Him permission to do His will in our lives. Therefore, anything or anyone that hinders God's plan for your life will be removed. Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. 2. Toxic People There are many toxic people in the world, and you may encounter some of them daily without realizing it. They may secretly dislike you or become more toxic over time. We can only see what people allow us to see, but God sees the heart. He sees all the secret thoughts and conversations others may have about us. God knows exactly how much we can bear, so He may remove someone from your life to protect you. 1 Samuel 16.7 says, The Lord does not see as man sees. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Chur needed elsewhere. God may remove someone from your life because that person is needed elsewhere. This can be hard to understand, especially if that person was a good friend or romantic partner. Remember, God has a plan for everyone's life, including that person. God's plan might take them away from you, but understand that everything happens for a reason. They may need to fulfill their divine purpose elsewhere. Exodus 4.18 says, Then Moses went back to Jethro his father-in-law and said to him, let me return to my own people in Egypt to see if any of them are still alive. Jethro said, Go, and I wish you well. 4. Not right for you. Sometimes God removes someone from your life because he or she is not right for you, or the timing is not right. God may decide to unite you both in the future, or he may not. God sees the beginning and the end. We may question why God would allow a seemingly perfect person to leave our lives, but God knows us and only allows things to happen in our lives according to His plan. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose, after better things in store. God has better things in store and wants to bless you. 
Sometimes we hold on to things thinking this is the best life has to offer. We have no idea what God has in store for us. He is just waiting for us to trust Him so He can pour out those blessings. 1 Corinthians 2.9 says, However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love Him. When we place our lives in God's hands, we can be sure He is protecting us. Even when we choose to do the opposite of God's will, He is always trying to get us back on the right track. He loves us too much and doesn't want to lose us. We are precious to God, and when we understand that everything happens for a reason, it is easier to learn lessons from our experiences. For example, that person may have left because of something you said. Now you can learn to better control your words. That person may have left because of something you did, and now you will learn to control yourself or respond better to people rather than react. So when God removes someone from your life, don't chase after that person. Understand that this act can be a hidden blessing. Sometimes we get so attached to certain people that we forget God knows our future and what is best for us. It can be difficult to see someone leave, especially if that person meant a lot to you. However, it is important to remember that God has a bigger plan and He is in control of everything. Trust that God has the power to guide your life in ways you may not understand now. Every person who comes into our life has a purpose, whether it is to teach us something, support us at a specific moment, or help us grow in some way. Similarly, every person who leaves our life also serves a purpose. They may have completed their mission in our journey, and their departure may be a sign that God is preparing a new chapter for us. We may not know what the future holds, but we know who holds the future. This means that even in the most uncertain situations, we can fully trust God. He is orchestrating everything for our good, even if we cannot see it immediately. We need to believe that everything that happens, every person who enters or leaves our lives, has a greater purpose. God does not make mistakes, and His actions are always guided by His infinite love and wisdom. When someone leaves, it is crucial to remember that they played their role in our life for a specific period. This period may have been short or long, but it was exactly the time needed to fulfill God's purpose. Remember that they were there for a determined time and a specific reason. Maybe they came to teach us a lesson, give us a new perspective, or simply support us when we needed it most. Not everyone deserves to be kept in our lives indefinitely. Some are meant to accompany us only for a part of our journey. Keeping these people beyond the time God has determined can prevent us from moving forward and receiving new blessings. Not everyone deserves to be attached to us because each person has a unique role and a specific duration in our story. It is essential to discern when it is time to let go and trust that God knows what He is doing. Thus, when God removes someone from your life, see it as an opportunity for growth and transformation. Be grateful for the time that person was present and for the lessons learned. Let go of the need to control who stays and who leaves, and open your heart to the new things God is preparing. Have faith that He is leading you to a path full of new opportunities, meaningful relationships, and enriching experiences. It is very important to know the place of people in our lives and treat them accordingly. There are friends for a period, friends for a reason, and friends for a lifetime. There are acquaintances and people who are there to play different roles. The only problem is that we confuse these categories. In this short walk of life, we need to know the kind of people we meet and classify them accordingly. When we place ourselves in God's hands, we can be sure He is protecting us. Even when we do the opposite of His will, even when we fight against our heart, even when we say, I don't want to lose this person, I don't want to lose him or her, I don't want to put myself out there again, maybe you are struggling with heartbreak, going through a divorce, Asking yourself, how can I put myself out there again? Ah, how can I find someone like him or her who understands me? Well, I have good news for you. There is not just one person for you. For every person who leaves, God has a thousand people to bless you, a thousand people to lift you up, a thousand people to strengthen you. God is our ever-present help, and he shows this through the kind of people he sends to you. So what do we have to do? We have to be conscious and also cautious. We have to be conscious and cautious about the kind of people in our lives. 
If for any reason they decide to leave, just know that their part is done. Don't fight it, just smile because it happened. I leave you with these words. Know the different kinds of people who come into your life, categorize them, and treat them accordingly. You will be glad you did.